And so my guy is looking at me, he's like, you're what? And I'm like, I'm perfect. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back to another weekly edition of What I Wore in a Week, Fragrance Edition. You guys, <laughs> this smile is real because I have something to tell you, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna have to get that out there to let you know why the smile was even larger than it normally is, besides me being really happy to see you. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, so if you like any of those things or all of those things, please go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Tap the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there is a new video or a post on this channel. Without further ado, we are jumping right in. Whew, okay, I'm glad we got that out the way. Okay, you guys, a quick 2.5. This week was so challenging when it came to my fragrances and I'm gonna tell you why. I wanted to reach for my same fragrances that I have already been reaching for and tell me if you're like that and don't forget to drop me your scent of the day. I wanted to keep reaching for fragrances that I have already worn, I have already been reaching for, and I'm like, girl, no, we are not doing that. That's the whole purpose of my weekly fragrance edition videos is because I wanna make dents in all of the bottles in my collection, and if I'm not putting a dent in it, you don't need to be in my collection because I told you before, I only want fragrances in my collection that I love. I am cultivating a collection of fragrances that I love. I have so much to tell you guys. I'm trying to keep it all together because I'm ready to go and spit it all out, but I'm keeping it together, I'm keeping it together. So anyways, I told myself, girl, we're not doing that. So what days I wore what, I really don't know. I played with a lot of fragrances this week. I made a fragrance um, wish list or a fragrance list that I wanna go out and buy. I have sampled a lot of fragrances and now I have a wish list. If you want to see my fragrance wish list video, or if you want me to make that a video, right now, stop what you're doing, hold up. Hashtag fragrance wish list and do not forget to come over and follow me on Instagram. Okay, anyways, you guys. So Sunday I did the boat trip, right? Remember if you watched that vlog and if you didn't, you guys watch the vlog. It's really, really fun. It's like a girl's boat trip, boat ride, brunch, shopping, lunch, lots of shopping at Chanel. So anyways, um, I wore a fragrance combo. Hold on a second. Cause you know, I always tell you the lipstick be lipsticking and I just can't be bothered. Um, so anyway, so I wore Coco Mademoiselle mixed with Stranemia from Tenciana Terenzi, or is it from Quintacano? From Quintacano. I mixed these two together. I knew I wanted to have a Chanel kind of vibe going on. It just called for the occasion. I was gonna be with the girl. Chanel just says something. I told you it makes me feel a certain kind of way. It gives me that certain je ne sais quoi. And I wanted to reach for a Coco Mademoiselle because it is loud, it's, <laughs> it's iconic, it's classic, but it's something that I knew would carry me through the entire day because the performance and the longevity on this particular fragrance is unreal. So that is why I reached for this. And then I also mixed it with Stranemia, not knowing how the two would pair because I just put it together that morning. And if you watch the video, I was pressed for time. Girl, guy, I was rushing, okay? So I'm like, you know what? We're putting this together because I wanted to wear this. This fragrance right here is fruity, it's beautiful, it's sexy. Today, you guys, I'm not gonna dive deep into notes or anything like that. I have full dedicated reviews to all of these fragrances that I'm going to be telling you about today on the channel. So if you want a little bit more in depth, a little bit more detail, ensure that you search my name in the fragrance and we shall appear like a genie, but not in the bottle here on YouTube. Okay, so I mixed these two together. This fragrance right here is a beast. It is, <sighs> I know we always say this. In my opinion, it's a little similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, but it's not. It has its own uh, fruitiness to it. It's beautiful, it's sexy, it's loud, it's gorgeous. And pairing these two together was like an amazing fragrance combo. I will wear this again. And I already want to reach for it again. And I'm like, no, we just did this. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm stuck with liking combos and fragrances that I like, and I just want to keep reaching for them over and over again. And I'm like, we're not doing that. Let me know if you have that problem sometime, but this is what I wore on Sunday. I move on. The rest of the week was a blur. I don't know what I wore Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I know what I wore Friday. I know what I wore Friday, but the other days, I have no idea. I was just reaching and spraying. So let's go with Monday, and I'm not spending a lot of time here. I'm not. Please don't ask me why. You guys, I spoke about this fragrance already, but I wanna be truthful. Did I say that right? I wanna be always truthful with you, and I always wanna tell you what I'm really reaching for, and not just making up stuff to give you a video. I, I don't work like that, I don't operate like that. Especially not with my friends. That's just not my character, it's not who I am. So I reach for Bur Burberry Her. Again, I know, I know, you guys, I know. I know you already heard about it. I'm not gonna even tell you about it. But this is what I reach for on Monday, Burberry Hurt. It is absolutely amazing and I'm still obsessed. I move on, I move on, I move on. On Tuesday, I, I think it was Tuesday. 
<laughs> Truth be told, I have no idea, but I think it was Tuesday. I was listening to someone and she was talking about um, BDK and she was talking about rouge smoking. You guys know I talk to you about this all the time, but she had a different perspective on it. And I like to listen to other, you know, uh, fragrance influencers or fragrance, whatever, okay, people. I like to hear other people talk about fragrance too because I like to see what, you know, other people are feeling, what other people are spraying, what's working for them, what they're vibing with. And she spoke about this and she said this gave her Dr. Pepper vibes. Now I had never, ever, ever thought about Dr. Pepper when wearing Rouge Smoking. I mean, I just haven't, I thought it was kind of like Killian, love don't be shy, but never did I ever think that it was like Dr. Pepper, you guys. I went back and said, you know what? I'm gonna make that my scent of the night. I was doing my facial routine at night and getting dressed after my shower and I hadn't picked out my fragrance yet. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna make that my scent of the night. So certainly I picked it up, sprayed it on, and immediately, within seconds, the minute I sprayed it, I was like, this does give you Dr. Pepper vibes, especially, I don't know if there was a creamy one that you could kind of mix with ice cream, vanilla bean or something like that. It definitely gave those vibes. And I was like, wow, had she not said that, I would have never got that from it, but it really did. A few of the notes in here, you guys, is bergamot, it's cherry, it's vanilla, it's tonka bean, it's white musk. And that's why I said the vanilla bean, I kind of got that whole feeling. This right here is a very sexy, creamy, rich, oh my gosh. It's like Lost Cherry, it's like Fave Delicios, it's like Killian Love Don't Be Shy. It's along those lines, in that realm for me. This you cannot go wrong. It is absolutely gorgeous. I will say this, it does not last long at all. The longevity on it is not good, but it is a great fragrance. Um, you can pick this up at Soi Vanguard. I do have a discount code. Everything that I mentioned today will be linked. And if I have a discount code, it will be in the description box below. I move on. So that was on Tuesday. At least I'm saying it's on Tuesday. On Wednesday, okay, I know, I know, but I have a reason for sharing this with you guys. On Wednesday, um, I mixed a couple of fragrances because like I said, I was playing with fragrances and I do have our Explore fragrance. I rocked Coco Mademoiselle, right? And I rocked it with the body oil and the body cream. And I typically reach for this all the time, but I get a lot of questions on it and I wanted to let you all know, they do, this was uh, discontinued, I believe, the one that I actually have here, which is this one here. Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys the fragrances. I am so excited, wow. Anyways, um, so yeah, so this one was discontinued, but if you go on the Chanel Boutique website right now, they have a new one that has come out. And one of my client advisors had reached out to me and asked me, hey, do you wanna get the new one? And I'm like, well, I still have this full bottle. I mean, how different is it? So I have not tried it yet. I am expecting to go in and play with it in store. Um, or did I play with it when I was there? I have to watch the vlog back to see if I played with with it when I was there, but I can't recall, so maybe I didn't. But um, this is really good. This is a very nice dry body oil. So with the summer and the spring and all that coming up, if you want something and you don't wanna be too greasy and you don't always wanna reach for a fragrance, you guys, I have been just layering my body creams and body sprays and mist and you know body oils and everything like that. And I have been playing with those and sleeping in them and I have loved them. And this is the consistency of it. This is how it looks. It doesn't leave you like Johnson & Johnson or it doesn't leave you greasy like a Vaseline. You know what I mean? But this right here is really, really good. So I absolutely love this combo. And I mixed this fragrance with, I know, wait for it, wait for it. I mixed it with Dylan, I don't even know what this is. Versace Dylan Blue. Is it, you guys, I haven't reached for this in so long, but I said, if I'm not reaching for you, you gotta go. And I sprayed it and I was like, oh my gosh. But I find it is so beautiful. It is so so beautiful and it pairs so well with this combo. So like I said, Coco Mademoiselle Ocean, Coco Bottle, Coco Mademoiselle Body Oil, and then I mixed it with Dylan Blue by Versace. This is a beautiful fragrance, you guys. If you're looking for something for spring, summer, a uh, very bright, crisp, um, what fresh, inviting, easy reach, everyday reach. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I couldn't believe that I hadn't been reaching for it. But um, with the weather being so warm here now, it's perfect for this fragrance. So I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with it all over again. And I believe the last time I wore this was not too, too long ago, but long enough ago that when I sprayed it, I was like, oh, I forgot how good you are. Why don't I reach for you? That is this one here. This is Dylan Blue. Um, I picked this up at Sephora a couple years ago, but I absolutely love it and I am excited to have it in my collection and it matches my earrings. I love Versace. I am a Versace girl, Versace, Versace, Versace. Okay, girl. Anyways, I move on. Now, here's not so <laughs> of a good experience. 
So remember I told you I receive fragrances in PR and you know, I'll tell you about them, but I'm always gonna keep it real with you. I'm always gonna tell you the truth. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. It just, everything isn't just everyone's cup of tea. And I'm not gonna try and ever force anything to be my cup of tea if it's not, okay? Cause she drinks coffee. Anyways, if you got that, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the subscribe button, it really doesn't matter, okay? Don't we know this by now? Just hit a button. Okay, move on. Anyways, you guys, so I reached for this one here that was sent over by So Avantgarde. I believe it's called Toes. And I get a lot of questions because I did a picture of this on my Instagram and people are always like, oh my God, that bottle is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. What's the name of it? And I said, you know what? Let me wear this again. And I wore this out because Thursday I went and got my nails done and I've already broke one. Oh God, I can't be bothered. But anyways, I went and got my nails done and so I thought I would wear something like this. I wanted to try it out again and just test it out before, you know, I kept leaving it in my collection. This might be something I'm gifting to my mom or my niece, one of the two, because it's not for me. Anyways, um, it's floral, it's pink grapefruit, it's pink pepper, peony. I've already did a full review on it, you guys, but I just want to tell you, it's a no. It was a no then. It's a no now, it is just a no. It is not my zhuzh, it is not my type. It's a beautiful fragrance. The whole time I was smelling myself in the nail shop, to be honest with you, I kept saying it smells like something that I've wore in a past life. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't even know how to get you to relate and understand that. But it smells like something that I wore in a past life and I'm done with that day and age of my life. You know what I mean? It smells very, Familiar though, and it is a beautiful scent. I'm not gonna say beautiful. It is a good scent, a nice scent, an easy reach scent, um, nothing groundbreaking, nothing over the top, but it is nice. So it's not like a bad smelling scent or it's not like it's not good. It's just something that I would not reach for, but I wanted to give it a second try, play with it again and just see, are you gonna make the cut or do you need to be cut and let go? And this needs to be cut and let go. So yeah, there is that on that. I did wanna mention, because I did wear this on Thursday to get my nails done and I remember because I got my nails done on Thursday and I was smelling myself the whole time in the nail shop and I was like, growl, no, never again. So yeah, it's a one and done or two and done, it's done. I move on. On Friday, I knew I was going out. It was date night. My guy had told me early in the week, hey, we're gonna go here, here and there. So um, uh, make sure you get your stuff together because you guys, I was saying that, uh, and I vlogged the whole thing. So I was asking you guys like, how long does it take you to get ready? I'm ashamed to admit how long it takes me to get ready. Sometimes four and a half to five hours. I don't know. Don't ask me what I do when I'm getting ready. I don't know. Okay, I take a lot of breaks. I drink a lot of water. <laughs> I surf TikTok a lot, Instagram. I mean, but even without those things, you guys, truth be told, it's a good four hours. Okay, I have to do my under eye, my sheet mask, my lip mask, exfoliate, hydrate, moisturize, uh, fragrance. I mean, that's a lot that I have to do. I have to change my bag. Okay, I have to figure out what outfit I'm gonna wear. I have to figure out if I'm gonna like it. I have to take a couple of selfies with it, see how it's given, if it's given. It's a lot in this process. So let me know how long it takes you. Um, and I asked you guys in another video as well, but if you don't watch that one and you watch this one answered, if you watch both, I'm happy to see you and thank you so much for your support. Anyway, so I was thinking of a fragrance that I wanted to wear. And this is a fragrance that I'm going to buy. So I'll probably be ordering this fragrance on Monday. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna share that with you. I believe it's called, here I go. Girl, please don't butcher this name. Oh God, it's MFK Aramis Femme. They have one ohm for men and they have one for women. Um, it looks like this. I just have about four or five of these samples. Um, I used all the other ones. I'm also sharing that in a vlog with you guys about samples and everything like that. I have about four or five of these. I believe I started playing with this fragrance last year, to be honest with you, I can't recall, but I wanted to play with it for a while. It's a pretty penny, it is MFK, and I wanted to ensure that I really liked it. I definitely don't have anything in my collection like this, to my knowledge, and I absolutely loved it. I wore it out on date night on Friday. We sat outside, we were in the car, and as we were driving there the whole time, I was like, oh, I am purring. And so my guy is looking at me, he's like, you're what? And I'm like, I'm purring. And he, he looked at me like I was absolutely crazy, you guys, because he doesn't know the terminology over here. Some of it he does, but that one he didn't. And he was like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm like a cat. Like this fragrance is not letting go. I put it on, it left a scent trail, it left a scent bubble. The sillage was amazing. As I was walking and I was sitting in the car, I kept moving my hand, you know, adjusting stuff, checking it, probably taking another selfie girl. Okay, but anyways, I was like, I just keep getting a whiff of myself and I smell amazing. 
And I was like, a purr is like when the fragrance does not let up, you can just smell it continuously throughout the whole entire wear of the fragrance. You know what I mean? And that's what this one did. It is really good. It is still on the blouse that I wore. So the longevity is unreal. It purred and left a great sillage. Um, I gave myself a compliment. I really didn't get close to anyone to receive any other compliments. Like I said, we were sitting outside. At this particular time, I think we were still wearing masks. I believe they took the mask restraint off. I don't know, it's all confusing because some people have them on, some people, okay, I can't. But anyways, yeah, this is my next fragrance by, um, this is all my, oh my gosh, it's so, should it be my scent of the, it can't. Remember we said we're not doing this, Shrey, and don't spray it there, you've already sprayed one there. We're not doing this. We're not wearing the, oh my gosh, it's so good. If you have this fragrance, if you've played with this fragrance, let me know your thoughts. It is a white floral, it's, um, it's woody, it's citrus, it's powdery, it has jasmine iris, lemon, pear. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sensual amber type of fragrance or amber accord type of fragrance in my opinion. It is so perfect for spring, so perfect for summer. If you're looking for something for spring and summer new to add to your collection, I believe this would be a way to go. I also feel, oh, something green smells in here. Or is it just a citrus from the yeah, it might be just a citrus, but it's iris. It's it's beautiful. I, I don't know. It's the extract, the, the parfum, okay? It's the extract version. So it is beautiful. This is definitely gonna come home with me. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I've been playing with it for about a year now, and I'm like, yep, I absolutely love you. I wanna bring you home and add you to my MFK collection, and it is good, good. If you have this, if you've played with this, let me know your thoughts and opinion. If you are looking for something, I would highly recommend getting a whiff of this. I wanna make mention of this as well. If you are into to uh, MFK Maison Francis Kirk John's fragrances you guys they have a website you can always go on the website you will need to change it from uh, France to or from French to English and you can order samples don't get me to making up stuff okay I'm gonna put the information in the description box but when I ordered you were able to order four fragrances and it was $14 um, I believe it was like $22 or 22 euros which equivalated to 14 US dollars and they would ship it to your home and then you were able to play with them now if you turned around and ordered a fragrance from Maison Francis Kirk John that particular website they would credit you that $14 back in a coupon code so if you ordered the fragrance for like I don't know 200 300 dollars you would get an additional 14 dollars off because you've already spent that when you ordered the samples just a quick tip just in case I know a lot of us love Maison Francis Kirk John's fragrances so I wanted to share that with you so that was on Friday on Saturday I reached for um Nishane vain and naive this is beautiful i absolutely love this it was fun i stayed in the house i didn't really do anything saturdays i've been like chilling in the house a lot um if we do go somewhere it's like late at night but in the morning i'm just chilling in the house and i always put on a fragrance i don't know why i'm not even going anywhere do you do that even if i'm not going anywhere i'm in my closet and i'm like oh i feel like smelling this and i'll put it on so this is what i reach for this was also gifted by uh so avant-garde Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you guys have not tried uh, Nishane, Vain and Naive, I would highly recommend it. It is a beautiful, why are you not focusing thing? Like, hello? It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance and I absolutely love it. To me, this is a year round fragrance, day, night, brunch, church, work, um, kind of date night-ish. You know, it's not a, a deep, dark, heavy, sexy, but it can definitely go there. It could definitely get it, I'm just saying. Orange, bergamot, raspberry, plum, rose, jasmine, cedar, sandalwood, tonka bean, all my faves, okay? Benzoin, patchouli. It is a beautiful fragrance and the longevity on here is unreal. I woke up on Sunday, which is today, took my shower and before I went in for my shower, I was still able to smell this. So this right here, you cannot go wrong. Like I said, I do have a discount code. It will be linked in the description box below. Now, another thing I want, so that was Saturday. Today is Sunday. I don't know what I'm wearing yet today because I don't even know what my outfit is going to be yet for today. This right here is giving me total mom vibes. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm wearing today. Today is Sunday. I have not chose my fragrance yet, but I do want to share with you guys two uh, fragrances that I do have on my wish list. I've already told you one, which is the one by Maison Francis Kirk John. The other one that I am going out today, hopefully I can pick it up today. I am adding to my collection. I'm so excited to finally say this is this one here. This is Initio, I believe I'm saying that right, Initio Atomic Rose. I have played with this fragrance over and over again. Yes, it has strong reminisce to Delina, but I don't care because I love it. I 
Keitra sent this to me from Bougieville over, I don't know how many, maybe a year ago. I can't remember. It wasn't 2022. It must've been 2021 or before. And I have played with it and I'm like, you know what? It's really good. I like it. I'm in a space right now where I have looked at a lot of fragrances. There's been like new release in fragrances like every other day, every other week, there's something new. And every time I go out, I hate to say it, I've been underwhelmed. There's nothing that I've gotten my nose on that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good, I have to get it. That just hasn't happened for me. So when that happens and I wanna add new fragrances to my collection, what I do is I go back in my samples and I play with them and I start saying, what did I really like? And then if I see things that I've liked, that I've played with and I already know how they wear on me and you know what I felt about them, then I will add them to my collection. So that's what I'm doing with these. I just wanted to share that with you as a tip, just in case that's something that you can do as well. Cause in the fragrance, market right now i don't know i'm just i'm not i'm not impressed you know what i mean like there's nothing that has really got me to thinking like oh my gosh i gotta go out and get that i was super excited to go out and smell the new fragrances by tom ford um the rose collection and i believe tom ford rose prick to me were better than all of those and i was really underwhelmed i didn't feel that any of them were worth my coin you know to go out and spend that much on a fragrance i just didn't love it so i will never settle i will never just force a fragrance i will never just buy to buy i'm always going to buy what i love and as i encourage you all to do the same thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video i truly appreciate you do not forget to leave down in the comment section below what you wore for the week my week was a little bit of everywhere okay i cannot do the monday through friday i try to do it the best i can some of these days might be wrong nonetheless these are the fragrances but let me know what you wore this week don't forget to drop your scent of the day any videos that you want to see any fragrances that you like me to review do that as well tanya reached out to me over on instagram and she was telling me about this brand over on tiktok that is just blowing up right now. And so she asked me if I could review those fragrances. I'll put a clip of it here. I have ordered a sample pack of this, so I should be able to review these coming soon. So I always love to do that as well. If it has a sample, I don't mind, but I'm not blind buying a full bottle. I'm just saying, you already know. Until next time, guys, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.